Jenkins, Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, November 30th. Um, on the agenda, I have a quick thank you and shout out goes out for the Contributor uh, Spotlight Project. We are officially live, so yay. Um, quick talk about Contributor Summit at FOSTEM. If there's anything else you want to add there, John Mark. And then our, I think our um, the depth of our discussion here is going to be on GSOC 2024 planning. And then I have a couple of images for the holiday tweets that I wanted to share and just make sure that um, get blessings before uh, we use those images uh, for the holidays. Is there anything else we need to add? Cool. No. All right. Good. Okay, so Contributor Summit Spotlight, sorry, Contributor Spotlight Project. Um, Page is live. Thank you again to Chris, Kevin, John Mark, um, to everybody involved to help make this thing happen. So um, we're I thrilled. have a correction. I don't yes, know sir. how to raise my hand here. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I did besides cheering up the, 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 the players uh, was to update the Turbotron. I think Chris and Hervé and Kevin made the heavy lifting. So at least if you could move my my name at the end <laughs> and, and make it smaller, to be honest. So, and, and, and well, You Her did help Hervé. us at the beginning. The, the, there was a long process with this, if you remember. We yeah, started okay. a few months ago. So it yeah, okay. did take a lot of people and it did take a lot of time. So... You know, don't underestimate your um, your contributions here, but it counts. Thank you. Yeah. Well, maybe add heavy there, but Chris made also. A, a yes, definitely. Big, big work. Thank yes. you, Chris. A lot of efforts from Chris um, and Kevin and Irve. So all around, thank you so much. Um, and then for the contributor summit, so we discussed earlier. Um. This page is now live. Yep. Invite has been, has gone out as of yesterday evening my time, so um, I will be tweeting about it, and um, I'll I'll probably also ask CDF to help tweet as well. Mm. Um, yeah, and Roxanne did reach out to me. She said they do have some swag that they can donate, so. Um, we will have CDF swag and possibly Cloud B swag. That's TBD. Anything Good. you'd like to add here, Jean-Marc? Uh, no, I will maintain a centralized list of um, possible attendants for the Contributor Summit. I, I'm going okay. to rephrase that in better English. So a tentative attendance uh, list. People that told me that they're but they plan to attend, and this can uh, change during the time. Um, I'll wait. We we have some coordination meetings on that subject. Uh, end of December, beginning of January, latest. Uh, the planning of that day will start to coalesce, and uh, we'll we're going to, to work on that. Uh, I'm including in the organization of that a good part of the logistics uh, for uh, the Jenkins presence during FOSDEM. So mainly uh, 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 roll-ups, uh, tablecloth, and, and uh, people that will man the booth or, or be present. So this is also starting to shape. At least all the pieces have been identified and spotted on the map of Europe. So we just need to organize to have them there. So this is a report on my side. It's moving Great. moving ahead. Thank you. And then I, um, I'm also working on stickers as well as collection of swag. Um, so logistics is in the works for those two items as well. Uh, and uh, Bruno, will you be bringing your uh... mini gen? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jean-Marc. Yes, for sure. I do hope it's still working. But yes, if it's not mini gen, it will be something else. But yes, I think I will bring that. Okay. 
It's All right. nice. Things are, are coming together. Um, so GSOC 2024. Um, so we have the project idea page up. Thanks again, Chris, for that. Yeah. And um, so now I'm in the process of trying to herd mentors, right? So um, I have written a blog and thank you, Bruno, John, Mark, Chris, for your um, input there. So I will be creating a pull request for that. And then I'll reach out to CDF as well and see if they can help us with soliciting for mentors too. I need to review it, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then scheduling a online meetup for prospects. I'm thinking that we should do one either in uh, for uh, well in December. Um, this is basically you know telling them this is what you should plan for, right? This is what you should expect. These are the requirements, um, and yeah. that would be the initial step. And I wanted to see the your availabilities. Um, I'm thinking December 14, 19, 21st. And it would be on Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah, I'm av unavailable the 21st. That's the 40th wedding anniversary. Hmm. Oh, okay. So no, um, I, I will not be doing business meetings that day. Yeah. Um, I, I just would like to hear uh, Chris... Chris's opinion about making uh, the online meetup at that moment. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a preference. It doesn't matter. So mm -hmm. uh, as long as it works, I should be fine. Yeah. Now on on the uh, not only the form but also uh, the background. Uh, it, it, I might have misunderstood. You had some some doubts about doing that that early. What is your point of view on, on that, on making? Last year we made it, but I, I, I was in the driving seat, but I died. So it, it, would, it would be nice. And uh, uh, Alisa's uh, idea is good, but I would like to hear your point of view, Chris. Um, maybe we should hold it later, I'd say maybe uh, 19th or 21st. Cause mm -hmm. like uh, right now we have one uh, mentee returning as a mentor, which is uh, harsh. So uh, I I think I I have lost contact with Yiming, so that I don't know. So uh, we have at least one person who may show up, but we may want more time to find more prospects. And uh, do you have an idea what the content will be, or um... not yet? No. Because well, I, I, if if you ask me, I can help you. But uh, yeah. and and we we have last year's experience of that. So okay. right. So what I can do is I'll uh, look up what we did last year around this time. I'll add it. I'll add the links here, and uh -huh. then I think what we can do is improve it, make it better, or add more information. But I think the concept there that was you know. This is how you get things started. What is GSOC and things like that? And um, I think that would help, that, at least. Alisa, my vote is for having that meeting. Oh, it is stupid what I say because I promoted it last year. <laughs> uh, I second Chris's point of view to have a little bit more uh, mentors uh, before uh, available the okay. before the, the meeting. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm ready to give a hand for the the presentation. Uh, now I don't want to make the presentation. I can do a small part, retrospective. But uh, you are the three of you are now in the driving seat. Yeah. Uh, for that. Now the big the big pitfall not to fall. Sorry, Chris interrupted you. Lesson learned from l last year. Not a monologue like like I did, <laughs> but sure. that will be easy. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. 
Uh, I was saying like I can prepare some slides for the presentation, so that that should be fine. Okay, I'll I'll start something and then we'll collaborate, Chris. Yep, sure. Great, I like that. Okay, so um, so Chris, you're leaning towards the nineteenth or the twentieth, but we need to find more mentors and that they can join, and then we'll figure out whether it's the nineteenth or the twenty first. Yeah, because like right now. Sorry. Right now, like, uh, for sure, I know, like, Jave and uh, how I should be mentors, but um, oh, no, I, I don't know. Who was the other person before Harsh? Hervé. Uh, oh, Lemire? Yeah, yes. he will be a mentor. Yeah. Oh. Now, he said it very quietly, but people heard it very, very, very well. clearly, so I will, yeah. will not let him escape. So he, okay, he snagged great. his... his all right. I'm not. That's good. Ready. I'm just. I'm just a little bit surprised. So. Don't let him run. He volunteered. <laughs> okay. okay. Prepare the lasso. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, don't forget that the twenty-first mark is not available. I think. Right. It right. Could be a, a good help to have him aboard. Yeah, make it twentieth, maybe. The twentieth. Okay, that's a Wednesday. Would that work? Okay. Will that work for you, Mark? Oh, yeah. We can't hear you. I think he said no um, because he's muted, but I saw <laughs> no on the lips. Yeah, it's still no. He's Very struggling nice. with his unmute. <laughs> no, he, I don't hear him. They are... No problem. The 20th yeah. is fine. Even okay. if I'm unable to run a keyboard, the 20th is fine. <laughs> So okay. I even misread no. Oh. Uh -huh. We okay. go for the 20th. It All should right. be available. Yeah. Good. I make myself available. Um, hey, that's good. I see that the program is in good hands. And then uh, there was something else. Did, was there something, anything else that you wanted to bring up, Chris? Because I had a, I had a talk with John Mark yesterday, and he said you had a couple of things you want to bring up regarding GSOC. Um, maybe not this time. Maybe next time, because like well, maybe when we meet for GSOC, because like I don't think there will be like passing issues now. Okay. Yeah. So what? What? I don't really remember what I, I said before, John Mark. Can you remind me? Uh, now I have a doubt if it was related to um. Uh, the the Jenkins I/O and Docs uh, part of specifically to Google oh, Summer of Code, but okay. but uh, Google Summer of Code. Uh, Why well, here we we are co coordinating on the uh, with the drive of um, of Elisa, which is uh, uh, very good. Uh, yeah, if I may ask a couple of question and see, so. Uh, how are we with the project ideas? Could you do us a small summary where we're standing? Uh, you mean the current project ideas we have? Yes. Uh, can we go to the page, uh, Elisa? Is it, is mm -hmm. it possible? Navigate to it. I think we, we have quite a number of... Uh... We have 14 in total for now, but like one of them is not like not supposed to uh, become anything. So because like... Um, Mark said he's not going ahead with it. Okay, so we have about 10 project ideas. 14. 14. Ooh, 14, man. yes. Yes. Hey, yes. That we're rich, but we're not rich in mentors. No. But yeah. we still have to ask Steve Hill and Raul if they're interested to mentor. We have, I don't think we have to ask. Right, Mark? Okay. So we need to ask the permission to use the names here. It's just, I don't want to forget like who you mentioned. That's why the, the names are here. Hopefully it's okay with them. Yeah. yeah. Mark, is Adrian going to help us this year or is I, he completely I, worn out? I doubt it. I don't expect Adrian to, to be a, a part of the Plug and Health Score mentoring this year. Okay, okay. so I'll get, get rid of that name. So, um... Mentors is the focus of the the team's work right now. 
Yeah. We absolutely need. A la uh, other question. Um, is there interests uh, on the various channels? Do we see people being active besides saying, hello, I'm going to change the world? No, no, that, that I didn't see anything. They just asked the expressed interest, but they didn't start. Right, okay. Maybe a few did start, but um, I'm not sure if they're interested in JSOC. Yeah, certainly. We're, I'm seeing some some traffic in the plugin installation manager tool, for instance, but it's mm, hardly any of it's around code. And the code submission that we did have was relatively weak. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can safely, uh, or you can safely uh, concentrate on recruiting mentors. Okay. Good. My curiosity is uh, answered. Yeah, I didn't want to. Yeah, I, I think it's it's looking good. So we're. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the takeaway here is we need to find more more mentors. Yeah. Project ideas were good. Yeah. Otherwise, we have a strong mentor that comes with his project idea. Yes, okay, but we don't need to uh, find more project ideas. This is my sentiment, right. Chris. Yeah. We share yeah. that? Yeah, sure. Agreed. Okay. Are there um, certain names that we think would be good mentors for any of these one projects or any of these projects that we can link a name to and then maybe perhaps I can chase them? reach out to them personally. Site. Cloud Events Mark. plugin for Jenkins may have some candidates inside Fidelity Investments. They've been very interested in the uh, CD events technique, but we'll need to talk separately because I'm not sure if if they're interested in mentoring in GSOC or not. Uh, that, that would be an even bigger stretch from a financial services company doing doing mentoring in a public project it's already a stretch, I think, when they contribute source code to an open source project. Yeah. Mark, uh, suggestion would be to ask the TSM, uh, the, who is uh, uh, following that account. Ah, good, good, interesting you, idea. I, I can, I can give you names offline. Great, thanks. They, because they're probably he's probably coaching them for the open source. Part. I, I think Mark is also referring to the two people. I think it was it was two gentlemen that did their presentation at CDF, CDCon, Mark. Correct. Right. Yeah. yeah. So there, 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 there are people at Fidelity that are doing open source work, at least in part of their work, and and they may be interested in this because it's an integration facility. Okay, I'll see and um, I'll try to reach out to them. I should have be able to uh, at least get their contact information. Uh, uh, talk to Mark first, and, and okay. I can I I because there are some people uh, that I know within my work sphere, uh, then that could help be a good catalyst. Anything else from here? No, good job. Looks good. Okay. I can go away peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Last yeah. item. All right. So um, this is the image that uh, CDF has created for us. This is a typo. So we, we I will ask her to fix that. But this is Where the is banner the that we're going to use. Um, it should be 2023 recap. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, so this is what we're going to use as the header for our end of the year um, project recap. Yeah. Happy New Year. Okay. Um, happy New Year. Happy holidays. And I plan to use this around at least at our Chris December 25th ish time.
Happy happy holidays here. It's good. This is okay. This is but all the pictures I've seen now are good for me. So they have little cultural uh connotation. Yeah. Only if I want it to be uh, nitpicking, which is not my style. Uh, uh, the fireplace is something for people down under in Australia, and they're currently under heats and heat waves in 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 at the swimming pool during the holidays. But they are they will understand the the idea. So, so this is yeah. the only comment I I can make for the three pictures you shown me. Okay. I mean, for me, when I look at this picture, I'm okay with it. But I, my only worry is like somebody in, let's say, that's going through a war. Would they have? Would do you think that they? Am I reading into this too much? Would this You're be reading an issue? too much. I okay. would. I, I would tend say, to do that. yeah. Well, no, but you know, but it's a good question. It's a good question. And then I will let others uh, the time to, uh, to react on it. Uh, this is. Well, it's a fireplace. This is the way I see I see it, mm -hmm. especially with the the three balls on on the sides, and so this is something that's warming and something you gather around. So these are the two or three values that I pick up from the picture. Okay. Yeah. Now, the fireplace the, could have been. Go ahead. Jenkins gingerbread. <laughs> no. Uh, no, just kidding. I guess this is way too American, you know, gingerbread, small oh, people. You... Yeah, okay. No, no, or... no, no, no. A gingerbread in Germany is 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 just yes. I was thinking of from. Uh, U.S. and Germany, but maybe not too much in the rest of the world. But anyway, yeah. we don't have that picture of Jenkins made as a gingerbread. That's okay. Mm. No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. They hear the pictures, color wise. They're they're nice. The, the the picture Alyssa is showing there, uh, there are this. It conveys again for the northern hemisphere, uh, this important period where the nights are the longest, and this is a moment where the the new season, the new uh, the not the, the new year, starts with days getting longer in everything that's around that, and this. Um, uh, translate or, or transmitted by these two candlelights. Oh, oh candlelights. I thought it was a picture of somebody trying to solder something on his motherboard while it's still plugged in. Okay, it's something different. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Oh, you got me. Okay. So, okay. Uh, All right. Uno, okay. Two, 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 zero. Chris, what, right. did, what did you see? Because you're you're far away from U U.S. and and uh, and Europe. So Do you see right. some harm in the pictures? Oh, no, not really. No, not really. No. Not too many cultural conversations this time. Okay. okay. I think it's safe to use these. Then I'm. I will. I, I will plan. I will plan ahead with this. Thank you. Thank you. They're, they're good. They're good. Well done. Well, because they're neutral enough and, and have the festive and convey happiness by the choice of colors. Yeah. So, well good. done. All right. Um, that's it. Unless anybody else wants to add anything else on the agenda. Um, I do have a question to ask about the contributor spotlight. Like, mm -hmm. how's it? How um how are we doing with the frequency for releasing new feed, uh, new pieces? So our plan is to um, release a new uh, or highlight a new contributor every two weeks. So okay. Alex will have this platform for two weeks, and then after that we will highlight another contributor. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris, just so um, I don't, I, I may not have even mentioned it at some point, but um, the date that's in the PR title is going to be the anticipated uh, publication date for the spotlight. So uh, like right now we have Alex Earls next up in the pipeline. Uh, so his release date, I, I think I updated it to December 11th, because that would be two weeks from when uh, we went live this week. So 
uh, that's going to be the the format going forward as well. Okay. You had a comment on that, uh, Chris, or was it more by curiosity? I was just curious. Okay. Um, one thing I wanted to ask, so for like for success stories and for contributor spotlight tab, if I wanted to go back to Jenkins.io, um, it won't oh. take me there. Oh, but, okay. Uh, but it, if I'm on like this blog page, it will take me to the home page. Right. Just, okay. Yeah, I think I think you... Alex something to to um to had it before. I don't know what it did to it, but we put we probably fix it. Wait, wait, wait a second. So Alyssa, you're mm -hmm. showing could you refresh the page you're on? Yeah. You're on www.jenkins.io and you do see it. Okay, so it's probably then a, a caching issue because I see something different on my page. When I try to open www.jenkins.io, Contributor Spotlight is not there at all. Oh. So I, I suspect looking at it, so if you click, for instance, success stories, mm -hmm. okay, and it's there for you as well. Okay, so somehow or other, I suspect it's just a caching thing and and we need to find a way to to eliminate that or to to declare that cache as stale because mm -hmm. i just submitted an issue to jenkins.io reporting this with pictures of my my screen and my pictures are different than yours mm -hmm. so so you've shown us something here in the meeting recorded that hints that we've got a either a cache that's preserving too long on my computer or something else. So what was the problem you were seeing then? So when you click contributor spotlight, it goes to the right place. Well, uh, so if I if so if I'm on success story and I want to go back to the home page, it will not take me there. And that's the same thing with contributor spotlight. I think like it's, it's, uh, for for now, if you go back to youngest IO, it's like uh, if you just um, type no, it. it yes. It's not the contributor spotlight should not be there yet. But it's when clicking on Jenkins on the yeah, left side. Like, it's like if you do that, it happens. When I, if it's, no, when, what, it's not there yet. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to do that, but it's not implemented, right? Wait, let me check again. Let me check in that browser. Because I, I have it here in front of me. I see Jenkins. And when I click on it, the the page refreshes. Now I need to open the log file. And what right. is the link of that? Yes, yeah, the link for me is contributor.jenkins.io. Correct. So the link is bad. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm not, okay. So, so the problem that I had reported is now solved by my pressing control F5 in my browser. So, so the caching thing that I was seeing is resolved. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is cached. Yeah, I wonder. Because I was and wondering. Was like yeah, so it was it, it, now, and I I suspect that's just a a timing thing that the caches only last for a certain period, and then they're then they're refreshed. Say again the so when you click the Jenkins page on the, just to, on the yeah. far left, right mm -hmm. far left, it stays on contributors, which sort of is what I expected it to do. That's yeah. not what you expected it to, John Mark? I was well, Jenkins.io and John Mark too, I guess. Yeah. Yes, and, and Alyssa too. Yeah. Because the question is, how do you go back to the main site mm -hmm. without clicking on blog or... I see. Okay. okay. So, so what you're thinking is that when I'm on success stories and I click the Jenkins link, it should take me to www.jenkins.io, not stay on stories. Correct. I Correct. See. Yes. Okay. So that I, I confirm I see that that behavior as well. So yeah. in order to get back to www.jenkins.io, I have to click one of the things on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's like right now, currently, it, uh, the way it's set up, it's like uh, the, the, if you click on Jenkins while you're on Contributor Spotlight, you go back to the same page. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Same for success stories. Yeah, and plugins we we have yeah. it too. 
Yeah. Right. So it's not interactive. It's, it's, it's like it's doing something, except it's not going to the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what okay, is. So... Uh, Go ahead. Well, no, I, I was more, what is the desired behavior? Because I thought the new page, the two new sites introduced a new behavior, but I see that going to plugin, for instance, has the same between brackets issue. Yeah. When you go there and click on Jenkins, you go it, back to plugins. Yeah, it stays at plugin. But when is it you going go to, to what's considered the home page for that like specific URL, I guess that's what's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should change it to like to the home page of Jenkins IO, no matter where which type we are on. So maybe that's a subject for the UI UX meeting. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a no. subject for <laughs> if anything for Docs Office Hours. This is not a UI oh, UX okay. thing. This is a Docs Office Hours topic. But of course. But so so what I'm hearing is, John Mark, your expectation was that the top left hand corner would jump to www.jenkins.io in all cases, which is consistent with the CD thing that is to the left of it. Uh huh. And so, so in that, in a sense, that's left-hand side navigations are always to top level of something. Right. Yeah. This was, now it's Alyssa that spotted it, but uh, Alyssa had the very right question, probably from her marketing background. How do you get home? How do you get out of the, right. the menu? So exactly. this was uh, the, the hundred dollar question or thousand dollar question. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, and the fact that I was able to do that with blog, that's that's just the way I maneuver around. Mm -hmm. So um, I was able to go back home with blog, but then right. with Contributor Spotlight, I couldn't unless, well, yeah, I just couldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. valid, valid thing. Alyssa, do you want to be the one to raise the issue to the Jenkins documentation site, to, or do you want one of us to do it? Uh, well, some people have to show me how to do it or tell me where to go. I'd be happy to do it. Just haven't done let's, it before. Let's pile it on Kevin, actually, and put it in Doc's office hours. Kevin, are you comfortable with the issue and Doc's office hours is an okay place to review it? Yeah, I've already put it into the agenda for uh, it, later. So, yeah, we'll talk about it and discuss and go from there. Uh, I can create the issue if anything. Yeah, it's not a problem. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it. Have a good evening. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Have a good day. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Cheers.